I want to bring in now Senator Bob Casey, a Democrat from Pennsylvania, joining me now for more on this. He's a member of the Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. Senator Casey, thanks for being back on the show. Thanks, Hallie. So a lot to talk about here. Let me start, uh, and we can kind of take our pick here, but let me pick up where Gabby left off on the idea of red flag laws and growing apparent support for that. Some of your Democratic colleagues say they'd be on board with, for example, Senator Lindsey Graham's proposal on that. Where are you? Well, Hallie, certainly what they now call the extreme risk protection legislation uh, is a step forward. But look, there's so much more we have to do. Mm -hmm. And that's why I hope what the president would do would be by way of Twitter or, or by use of the telephone, call Mitch McConnell and say, bring the Senate back into session in this month so we can move on background checks which where there's a bill from the House sitting in the Senate. Let's get background checks done. Let's uh, at least debate and vote on the question of uh, to taking away these high-powered uh, military-style weapons, Lim a limitation on the magazine. We know uh, the horror of Dayton is, is yet another example of how quickly one individual can kill a lot of people. So I would hope that he would urge the Senate to act because the blockade in terms of gun reform on common sense measures is the United States Senate in the person of uh, Mitch McConnell. And I hope the president would use his, his ability to communicate to urge Mitch McConnell to take action right away. You're putting this on Mitch McConnell's shoulders. He seems to be shrugging it off. Here's what he said in a statement that partisan theatrics and campaign trail rhetoric will only take us farther away from the progress that all Americans deserve, referring, it appears, to these calls to bring senators back from recess. Are those calls that you are supporting partisan theater? Is Mitch McConnell right? No, he, and he knows he's wrong. He knows that we have to take action. But like most Republicans in the Senate, he's afraid of the gun lobby. Uh, the gun manufacturers who have a a business um, a business interest in just keep keep in keeping selling uh, more guns, but what we should do is come together as a nation. This is a uniquely American problem. No other nation has it, and it was created over time. We need American leadership in the form of the president, the the Senate Majority Leader, bringing people together, not simply on voting on a, a whole series of gun measures which have broad bipartisan support but also to confront finally this problem of white supremacy and hate that can't be done with one bill that requires a national conversation which should be led by the president of the united states and one thing the president can do is change his language yeah. uh, right away when it comes to using demonizing language when it comes to immigrants and and asylum seekers well, I want to come back to that national conversation piece of it, Senator, but let me ask you before we move on from legislation on the Hill uh, about the Manchin-Toomey proposal, because the president has spoken with both of those senators just in the past 24 hours, according to the White House. Is that, one of the senators, of course, is your colleague from Pennsylvania, does that give you hope or optimism that perhaps when the Senate does return, presumably in September, something could end up happening? There could be some movement or some daylight uh, for Mitch McConnell here. Well, I think, it's, Hallie, it's an indication of, of broad bipartisan support. I think the House bill is what I'd prefer uh, that's already passed the House. All we need to do is take up that bill and pass it. If they want to have a couple of hours de of debate, fine. But at a minimum, the majority leader, if he can't say we're going to meet this week or early next week, he should set a date certain for extensive debate on a whole range of measures okay. and then just start voting. There's no guarantee that a measure will pass, but we've got to vote on this urgent national problem. Before I let you go, you mentioned the idea of a national conversation and a conversation that is led at the highest office in the land, the, the Oval Office from President Trump. How, in your view, can the president credibly condemn racism when he himself has perpetuated, for example, racist tweets or attacks in the past? Well, the job of president is to lead and to admit when you've made a mistake. And one of the, 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 one of the constructive things he could do in terms of dollars is don't cut from 21 million to 3 million the Office of Community Partnerships in the Department of Homeland Security, which is designed to, to push back against this hate, designed to build coalitions against white supremacy and hate and extremism. Senator Bob Casey of Pennsylvania. Senator Casey, thanks for being back on the show. I appreciate you coming on, and I hope to touch back base with you uh, in the fall when you guys thanks, are back Sally. in session. Thanks.